Let's zombify this guy using generative fill and After Effects motion tracking. If you want to both impress and scare your friends with your video skills, then follow along. All right, so I have my subject portrait here in After Effects. So first I'll export a frame of my subject by going to Composition, Save Frame As, File. I'll open that PSD in Photoshop and I'll start doing my generative fill work. I'll start by doing the eyes. I'll give him some zombie eyes. Okay, plenty of options here. I'll go with the blue ones. So they're a little bit more subtle, but also creepy. Now using the same process, I'll continue to zombify him. I'll speed this up a little bit. So let's say I wanted to use this spot as a reference for another spot. All I have to do is duplicate this generative fill layer, move it to where I want it, and in the properties panel, I'll click generate again, and it will regenerate a similar result in that specific spot. That looks really good. Now for this part, I'll use the select and mask tool and I'll select a portion of his shirt and I'll generate a nice rip in his shirt to make this more dramatic. That looks great. And lastly, I'll make my background a little bit more apocalyptic. Okay, that looks great. If you guys like what you see and you wanna see more, then check out my YouTube membership page where I have exclusive tutorials and you can get early access to my new tutorials. Check it out. So my subject looks good and now we're almost ready to bring it into After Effects, but first I need to clean up my layers a bit and feather them so they blend in a bit when in motion. So this is what it will look like when I'm ready to bring it into After Effects. Now I'm good to go. So let's move to After Effects where I have this imported as a composition with each layer there. I'll get rid of my bottom PSD layer and I'll overlay my video layer underneath. So now obviously I just need to add the motion tracking. So for this, I'm gonna click on my video layer and I'm gonna to go to Track and Stabilize, Track Camera. This is gonna use the 3D Camera Tracker. So once this is done analyzing, I have a bunch of points here on my subject's face that I could use to track my effects. Selecting a few points here, click Create Solid and Camera, and I will just scale this up quite a bit, and I'll hide this for now. So with my zombie layer, I'll start by using the Pan Behind Anchor Point tool to move my anchor point to the middle of my effect. This will help when making adjustments later. Now I'll duplicate this PSD layer, and in the top version, I'll make this a 3D layer. And with this 3D layer, I'll use the Parenting Pick Whip, and I'll hold Shift while parenting it to the solid that I created. So now it will change positions a bit, but that's why I have the 2D version behind it as a reference point. So I'll just readjust the 3D layer, and I'll preview that. So now I'll do the same thing with each of my other effects. One thing to note with the eyes, when he actually blinked, I keyframed my opacity to match where his eyes blinked and it worked out really well. Now since my tracking points are limited on my subject's neck, you could see here, the results aren't the greatest. So I'm gonna actually use Mocha for this specific layer on his neck. So with my video layer selected, I'm gonna go to Animation, Track and Boris FX Mocha, and then I'll click the Mocha icon and Mocha will pop up and I'll use the X-Spline tool to select that spot on his neck and I'll enable perspective and I'll also click show surface and align surface. Now the reason I do this is since my effect layers of my PSD are the same 16 by nine proportions, it will maintain those same proportions when applying the tracking data. So everything kind of stays the same in the same spot, makes it much easier. So now I'll track forward and I'll save this and I'll jump right back to After Effects. Now back in After Effects, in my Mocha panel, in the tracking data, I'll click Create Track Data, and Layer Export 2 will be the neck effect layer. And I'll click Apply Export, and you see the result is much better with the Mocha tracking. So now I just have to enable my background layers, which are static, and I'll add some ambiance, some smoke and fog to an adjustment layer. And after some final color correction, here's the final result.